Okay, let's see what uh, this package offers in terms of filtering out documents that satisfy given properties. So we might want to just select certain documents, like I might want to just have certain tweets or uh, that have a certain set of keywords or something like that. He says it's off, uh, so this is under filters. It's often of special interest to filter out doc documents uh, satisfying given properties. For this purpose, they have a function. <coughs> they made a function called TM filter. It is designed. It, it is possible to write custom filter functions, but for the most case, for most cases, uh, this does the job. Um, <coughs> so uh, it integrates uh, a minimal query language to filter metadata. Um, so query language means like uh, just you can you can put in certain requirements in terms of how you want to filter something. Um, <coughs> statements in this so-called query language are statements uh, as used for subsetting data frames. So it's similar to when we we learned about the subsetting function. It's similar to that. For example, the following statement filters out. Uh, those documents having an ID equal to 237 and the string Indonesia seen at crossroads over economic change as their heading. Both are metadata attributes of the text document. So um, ID is a metadata part of the document. So it's not the actual document. It's not like the text of the document. And uh, this is like, I guess, a the heading. So that's also uh, like a meta. It's not really part of, it's not the main body of the document. So it's, the, it's part of the meta data. So anyway, uh, here we create this string. So what is this string? ID equals this and, this means and, heading equals this. And then we, uh, we use this thing, TM filter, which is this. And uh, we're going to apply it to this data set. And uh, the function that we want to apply is sfilter. And we're using this query. So this is what we basically what we're looking for. Documents that have this. Documents that have ID equal to that and heading equal to that. And the result is a corpus with one text document. Let's try it. So here's that statement run that. I create the, this variable called query. Mm-hmm. <coughs> 